Welcome to a short demonstration of AmpTrail, a solution for remote fault indication with bidirectional communication for use in 11 kV and 33 kV overhead distribution networks. AmpTrail, the solution consists of overhead line fault passage indicators called FLA 3.1 mounted on distribution lines manufactured by Electromechanic GmbH Germany and remote terminal units or RTUs mounted on distribution poles. Handheld configuration module is available for on-site configurations of FLA 3.1. In the video, we can see a FLA 3.1 indicator mounted to an installation adapter with which it can be installed on energized lines using hot sticks. Then we have a visualization software for monitoring and configuring the indicators from the SCADA or the control center. The remote terminal unit or RTU is housed within an IP65 housing to ensure that it is weatherproof. RTU consists of the circuitry for remote monitoring and configuring FLA 3.1 indicators. The larger circuit board is the motherboard consisting mainly of a microprocessor, a memory and a real-time clock for timestamping the events. The smaller circuit board on the motherboard is the GSM module. You can observe that this has a SIM card which is used for communication. A high gain GSM antenna is provided for a good GSM network reception. Next to the GSM antenna is the radio module that talks to and listens to the FLA 3.1 indicators. RTU is powered by a rechargeable lead acid battery. The battery is sealed and maintenance free. The only cable that comes out of the RTU is from the battery charger located below the motherboard. This goes to the solar panel. Entry gland used for this cable is also IP65. Viewing the RTU from the other side, we can find green colored connectors, which are digital inputs, digital outputs, and analog inputs. Now, let's look at the visualization software. This is a web-based software and can be accessed through any standard web browser like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Firefox. Users must log in with their credentials at the login screen. The welcome screen consists of different widgets that can be added, deleted, or reorganized. Information about the number of RTUs, their location on the map, and their status are indicated here. To navigate further, we click on the Inventory tab. Here, we can view the indicators coming under a particular RTU. Each RTU can address up to 9 indicators within its RF range. Information about the feeder, status of the RTU is available here. The matrix shows 9 indicators. Green color means the indicator is present and gray color means the indicator is absent. In the beginning of the video, we saw that physically there are two indicators, one indicator number one mounted on a line and indicator number nine mounted to the installation adapter kept on the table. So we have one and nine in green color and rest are in gray. By clicking the indicator icon in the matrix, we get complete information about the settings of a particular indicator. The time at which the system verified these settings is also indicated. If a particular indicator is absent, the values show zero. We will now show how faults are indicated on the software screen. We have FLA 3.1 number 1 
mounted on a conductor which is connected to a low power current generator. We inject a current just above the trip current of the indicator and immediately switch off the current generator. This will create a situation just similar to a permanent fault. The indicator starts flashing and a red disk also comes up. The indicator then communicates this information to its RTU on RF signals and the RTU connects to the server or the SCADA through GPRS and conveys this information. Color of the indicator changes from green to red on the software screen indicating a fault. More information like type of fault and time of fault are also available. The server or the SCADA which is equipped with a GSM modem will then send a text message to the concerned maintenance teams about the fault information. We have been talking about bidirectional communication. Let's now see how it works. The indicators have configurable parameters like trip current, reset time, response delay, etc., which need to be configured as per network requirements. These parameters can be configured from the SCADA or the server. We shall now change the settings for indicators numbered 1 and 9, which are physically present with the demo RTU. Before we change the settings, let's first make a note of the existing settings. We then navigate to the RTU configuration where all the settings are available and then choose FLA3 settings. Under each RTU, 9 FLA 3.1s are listed. We will now make a few changes and remember these changes so that we can verify if the same has been updated. We will then click Submit and wait for the settings to be saved on the server. Now we go to the inventory view to check for the new settings. The RTUs will connect to the server or the SCADA center at predefined times to report their health and check for any new settings. If they find new settings in the server, they will pick them up and update the indicators with these settings. Alternatively, the server or the SCADA center can also send a text message to the RTU to pick up the new settings. We have to wait until the refresh time has elapsed and now we find the new settings are updated in the indicators. This is a brief video about AMP trial. We are sure you will have many questions. Do not hesitate to write to us.